Hey guys, just a quick uh, Sunday night vlog. So I read a recent report about Kotlin, if you don't know. Kotlin is a language that the company JetBrains, very famous, JetBrains is, very famous for putting out very good IDEs, integrated development environments. These are pieces of software, these are programs used to help write code. JetBrains put out IntelliJ, something I used quite a bit back in the day. PyCharm, which is an, an ID, IDE for Python. PHP Storm, which is of course an IDE for PHP. So they're quite well known. In 2011, they put out the language Kotlin, designed to be a lighter, nimbler language that will allow you to write Android apps. Traditionally, you write Android in either Java or C++. And about a year or so ago, Google blessed, they put their blessing on Kotlin. And as a result, Kotlin is starting to surge in popularity. According to GitHub, uh, Kotlin's popularity has doubled in the last year. So people are jumping on board Kotlin in terms of writing Android apps. Now, does that mean you should drop Java and if you're going to do Android and get into Kotlin or you should drop anything that you're doing and get into Kotlin? No, I'm just giving you some nerd news. It's something I'm going to be doing a bit more of now. I'm going to be just giving you a little, you know, a little news about what's coming out in the tech community and I'll give you my two cents. If I was going to be writing apps for Android and I wasn't going to be using a, um, uh, a universal platform or framework like a, like a Flutter or a PhoneGap, I would go towards Kotlin versus Java simply because Kotlin was designed to be much faster and easier to code with uh, relative to Java, much in the same way when Apple came out with the Swift programming language to eventually replace Objective-C. Again, just to make development for iOS easier with Swift. Kotlin now has been accepted by Google because it makes Android development easier than writing Android apps in Java. Since I brought up Flutter, which is a framework that allows you to write one set of code so that you can create an app that will deploy in iOS and on Android, you can check out my videos on that. I talked about that. Uh, some people had noted that I think it was uh, one of the big players out there, I forget which one, but one of the big, big players out there had written something in Flutter and they found that the performance wasn't there. So they moved to uh, native Swift and I guess native Android. I was just reading a piece where one, a big Chinese company, I think it was Alibaba, put out an app with 50 million users and they wrote it with Flutter. And apparently it's working well. So. Uh, for those who say that uh, frameworks like Flutter but allows you to write one, one code base that will work on both Android and iOS, those who say that that does not work, well, there are more and more examples coming out showing that it will work. Eventually, I think most apps will be written on lighter and nimbler uh, frameworks or what lighter or nimbler languages over time. So for example, uh, Kotlin, there's a reason that Google endorsed Kotlin and there's a reason why it's doubled in popularity. I don't know how, po I haven't checked what its overall popularity is. I would still imagine it's still not nearly as popular as Java in terms of Android development. And uh, I don't know if people are using Kotlin to do anything outside of Android development. But the point is, is typically from my experience going back 20 plus years, lighter, nimbler technologies, even if they have tech, uh, even if they have shortcomings in certain areas in terms of speed and so forth, will eventually win. So example, Java, which came out in 1995, uh, about a decade after C++. Um, I remember those days because I was learning to program at that time. I was writing software actually in 95, 96. And uh, I remember the C++ people were all uh, giving Java grief. Java's too slow, it's immature, it will never replace C++, it'll never run as fast as C++. And all that is true, by the way. C++ st can still run circles around Java. But Java, 
over a period of time became the most popular, at least number one and number two in terms of the most popular language in the world, because it offered certain speed advantages in terms of ease of writing the code, even though it ran much slower than C++ in many situations. Yes, there has been optimization of Java over the years, where sometimes people could say that Java in certain circumstances could run faster than C++, but generally speaking, C++ still runs much faster than Java. But nonetheless, Java became insanely popular because it was easy to write relative to C++. So now we see with Kotlin in the Android arena, the Android space, we're seeing it is now gaining in popularity quickly. You know, when you double in a year, that's quick. And the reason is, it's just because it's easier. And apparently it does what it needs to do to get the job done. I have not programmed in Kotlin, so I don't have personal experience. I'm just giving you my perspective, given my experience in the software development game. Anyway, that's pretty much it for today's quick little vlog. Bye-bye.